Hey, good morning everyone. We're going to be cooking brunch today. Um, we're into spring, the homely just, and the free gift we've purchased of a Thermomix this month is the Eat Well Cookbook along with a couple of rose gold uh, baking trays, the muffin tray and the pizza tray, which are really great quality. Um, I'm actually going to start off a little brunch section by doing the steamed mushrooms and egg pots. So let's just uh, start cooking. It's already up on the Thermomix screen here. The first step is to just grease um, four ramekins with ghee. So ghee is actually quite um, a healthy option. It's got a really nice buttery but also a nutty taste. And these are in um, the Varoma ready to go. I've actually popped a couple of skewers in the base just to lift the ramekins off the base and that will allow for better uh, circulation of the steam as we start cooking. I'm just going to put some cheese into the mixing bowl and we're just going to grate this. So that's just five seconds at speed nine, a little bit noisy. <laughs> going to keep this. This is going to go on top of the egg pots and just have a nice little cheesy surface on the eggs. So I'll just transfer this back into the bowl. We're now just going to put uh, some more ghee into the bowl and we're going to use that ghee to cook off some onion in the form of spring onions, although that you can use echelots. So this is a ghee and it's homemade. If you've not made homemade ghee in your Thermomix yet, you really should have a, have a go at it. It's very easy. It's a little bit of a lengthy process. It takes a couple of hours, but your Thermomix is doing the work. So you're not, um, you're not hands on for two hours at all some echelots or spring onions, two garlic cloves, and we're just going to chop this and then cook it. So, five seconds at speed five. Got to scrape down, make sure everything's in the base ready for cooking. Varoma. So Varoma is going to create a bit of steam. We're not actually going to use the steam, but when you are cooking with Varoma um, for more than a few minutes, you can actually use the steam that you're generating to cook some veggies or something like that. So we've got three minutes of Varoma speed two. So whilst that's cooking, I might just show you one or two of the other um, recipes that I'm hoping to try this week. The crunchy quinoa patties with avocado smash and it sounds really quite nice and that's got a just a poached egg and a little bit of balsamic on the top so really quite a nice brunch menu item and there's another um, that I want to try the green smoothie bowl smoothies are great because you're getting lots of nutrition and it's really easy to eat and very quick to make as well so Okay, here it is. So this is a souffle omelette with hot smoked salmon. And you actually cook this in your Varoma, so you're steaming your omelette. And you can uh, replace the hot smoked salmon with other things if you like. You could do um, ham or bacon, for example. And the, the kale um, you can replace with things like spinach. So, um, so that's one that I would like to try too. I think there's lots of variations on that that would be fun to try. We put pine nuts and feta and things on the top. Okay, we've got 26 seconds to go on the Thermomix. Let's look at what we're going to do next by going to recipe detail. We're going to add the mushrooms. Okay. 
it's quite a useful feature to be able to go and look at the recipe whilst it's cooking. Sizzling away in there. Oh, it's smelling pretty good. That's the garlic, I guess. Right, some mushrooms. It says halved. These are actually sliced mushrooms, but we're going to chop them anyway. Some parsley leaves only. And just a three second chop, it's big four. So that's just broken up the mushrooms a little bit more. Scrape them down. to cook for five minutes at a hundred and we're just going to turn that to speed two. Okay, just perfect timing. Let's have a little look. So we've got a, a mixture of mushrooms, onions, garlic, and the idea is to cook off so that there's not a lot of liquid. That's why we had the measuring cup off. So I think that's, that's actually pretty good. We're going to divide that now between these ramekins. Just pop. I'm just going to use the spatula. So we need to break an egg into each one. So I'm just filling it about halfway with the mushroom mixture. So we've got the four ramekins in there with the mushroom mixture in. And then we're going to crack one egg into each of those. So the guard on your spatula is actually quite a good egg cracker. Just do the last one on the bench. Season first. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And a little bit of cheese on the top. So that's one of the pots finished. I'm just going to pop that into the Varoma. And we'll put the remaining cheese onto the other four, three pots. Okay, so we've got the Varoma now with our four ramekins. We're just going to put 500 mils of water into the mixing bowl. So we don't actually have to clean the bowl. And this is warm water, so I'm just going to take a little bit of time off the amount of time it takes to get to steaming temperature by using warm water. Put the lid on. On. And pop the lid on. Okay, so we've now got 12 minutes at Varoma and we're just going to turn that to speed one. It's telling me that it's actually already at 45 degrees, so hopefully it will heat up fairly quickly. So we're on the last few seconds, cook just of uh, the Varoma, and this is the 12 minute cook, so we're just going to just have a little poke and feel what the eggs are like. So we're just going to open the lid away from us, just the steam escaping there. Bring this off. Certainly looks like the eggs are set. Okay, it is warm, but... <laughs> I didn't do too much damage there. So, just going to um, finish this off by sprinkling a few chopped chives on the top. And 
And um, there we are, nice ready for, for brunch. Let's have a go into it. It's going to be very hot, so. Mm. Garlicky, mushroomy, eggy, perfect. And cheesy too. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.